The thing I want to talk to you about today is our training freelance agreement and the guidance notes that go with it. And I've asked you to come so I can talk you through them because they're really designed to address the problems of someone who's using a whole group of freelance trainers. The first thing is, it's not designed to tell you your business has got to be run one way or another. There were lots of options in the guidance notes where you get to choose. There are also lots of choices that are not in the guidance notes because otherwise they'd be 500 pages long. So if you don't, if you've got choose A or B and you don't want A or B, mm. you can only contact us and we can create C, D or E for you. But we've used our experience as deliverers of trainers and as buyers of trainers and as employment law and HR specialists to put together something to help you structure those agreements in a way that can work for you and your people. That's brilliant. I mean, the flexibility that's built into that. It's, it's really so the brilliant. first thing is, if you've got a trainer that does five courses a year for you, you don't want to issue five contracts a year. Right. So the structure of this is we have a relatively simple freelance agreement, and this is four pages of text, which for a legal agreement is as short as it gets. <laughs> it's designed to go with, and I think you've got one here, a booking form. And this booking form is your individual come on this date, do the thing at that price, um, this is the name of the course. Okay. And the booking form's got sections for other terms so that if there's something special you want to do on that course that overrides the main agreement or something odd, you can fit it in. Okay. So the idea is it's totally flexible, mm. but the things that are always the same are always the same. Mm. Does that make sense for you? Absolutely. 